I'm Mike Bowers and I'm photographer at large for The Guardian in Australia. I'm talking pictures this week with freelance cartoonist Fiona Katowskis. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Mike. Lovely to be here. Fiona, the unicorn references spilled over into this week and uh, it really did flick the switch to pantomime as, uh, as unicorns were brought into Parliament. Oh, it was magical this week, wasn't it? It, it did make for good photos. As soon as... Um, uh, Scott Morrison got up with the Dorothy Dixer, out came the, uh, the, the, the unicorn and the, uh, the brony. They had the look here like they were two naughty little boys. Yeah, certainly the government was very, very animated this week. Julie Bishop was on fire. Yeah. She was really doing the... No, she was... You, yes. she, it, was all, it was all sort of almost... Uh, yes. Not overacting, but it, was, it, it made for good pictures well, again. I think it was also that kind of overacting that you do when you're in a spot of trouble and so you act the bravado, you ramp up the bravado, because that's what Kelly O'Dwyer was doing. I saw something I've never seen before in politics, which is Bill Shorten looking actually relaxed and comfortable. The Prime Minister looked slightly deflated. His, his performance, you know, it wasn't the same as it's been in the previous weeks. No, no. I think there has been a better time to be Malcolm Turnbull. Yeah. And that was not this week. No, not this week, <laughs> exactly. Fiona, um, the Prime Minister shuts his eyes more than any other leader uh, we've shot in, in, a, in many years. So now we're embracing it because he does it so much and we're just sending the closed eyes pictures because yeah. it's part of him. Well, it's a double wink. It He's is a double it wink. He's doing a double He's wink. Twice well, Tony, as good as Tony Abbott. Tony used to do the one wink and he does the double wink. Or so maybe he's just trying to find a happy place. Does this mean he's a bigger winker than Tony? <laughs> This is fantasy of a different kind. This is fantasy. This is just weird, right? This is bad Photoshop, though. Uh, Jackie Lambie put double D election is a distraction and uh, has sort of put the heads of Richard D. Natale, <laughs> Malcolm Turnbull and Barnaby Joyce on the top of... Uh, um, underwear models, I think. I think that's called keeping abreast of things, isn't yeah. it? Oh, boom, oh, boom, yeah, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and I know she has said she likes her politicians well hung, but I didn't know that that was <laughs> where she meant... Fiona, you, know, you see this as a, quite a predictable uh, um, cycle of politics. Well, Run us through oh, this. Oh, this is one of those cartoons where I'm really hoping I'm wrong. So anyway, according to the latest modelling, we're somewhere around here. We've got the Australian political cycle, which starts with new leader, high hopes, not quite so high hopes, gnawing sense of disillusionment, nagging fear that this is the best it's going to get. Now this is just embarrassing. And then make, make it, it stop. stop. Make it stop. You know, you need to get your pen and reverse this, yeah. basically, Malcolm. It's possible. <laughs> People of Australia, you can do it. <laughs> Fiona, uh, Senator Glenn Lazarus turned up to an interview with News Breakfast. Uh, he'd come straight from exercising, so he just put the tie on, put the shirt on and uh, left the shorts on. Well, fair enough, Mike. He was there to discuss elect electoral reform. He was giving us a view of above the line, above the line. And, and below the line. And probably pretty accurate, really. <laughs> It's all business below the line, yeah. right? A bit of independence yeah. underneath. Look, it's been a great pleasure on picking the events of the week. And uh, would you like to do the honours? Oh, look, Mike, I'll let you do the honours this week. I, I, I always get a turn. I never get to do it. Look, in the spirit of Lazarus, I've got to say, back to you, Barry.